to my channel. Today I have for you part one in an organizing my nail studio series that I guess I'm going to start. Um, this IKEA Alex drawer unit over here houses all of my nail art, it houses all of my background props, it houses some kind of office supplies and stuff that I use while I work on my clients and it's a hot mess. I'm going to kind of give you like a a brief look at what all the drawers look like right now and it's a hot mess and if you know anything about me you know when it comes to my nail studio that things need to be organized things need to have their home they need to it needs to be functionable for me or else I find I'm not as creative um, I don't work as smoothly I, I'm, I slow down because I can't find things um, so for me like a, a properly organized nail studio is a must. <laughs> it's an absolute must for me. So I've just been so busy since I moved into this new space with everything going on that I just I haven't had time to organize it. So I figured I would do it in two separate steps and then it wasn't so overwhelming for me. So this video is going to be all about organizing my nail background props video and that was a necessary first step for me because I wanted to get them out of here and I wanted to put them in another unit that I bought from Ikea that I'm going to show you so that I can have this to put all of my nail art stuff into. Um, if you've been watching any of my videos recently, I've been doing quite a few haul videos because of the CNTC and some different collections and stuff that have come out and I have nowhere to put it. I have like absolutely nowhere to put all of that stuff so it's a necessity for me to take all of my props out of here put them into the new storage thing and then reorganize this. So this itself is going to be a separate video and in all honesty probably a separate weekend because that's going to be like a whole big process. But I wanted to show you how I plan to organize my nail background props. So let me jump in and show you my new system that I'm going to be using for that. Okay, so you guys are looking at here now my nail art corner, I guess you would say. So I have all of these polish racks on the side here. This over here is two of the Ikea Alex drawer units. So there's one and then there's another one and they're stacked on top of each other. Reason I had to stack them on top of each other is because behind this unit over here is the only plug-in that plugs in my entire desk. So I, I couldn't cover it up but it still looked like super awful just having like all the cords showing. So this um, unit over here and I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called from Ikea but um, I will post like a little thing here and this is my new piece. This is my new background prop organizer. So the bottom two drawers in this unit right now are background props. Um, it's a hot mess in there so yeah so you can see that it is like a hot mess in there. Um, I've taken some of the little bins and stuff out of there already and, and put them into the new unit just to see how they would fit but that is like a before picture so if you know me this drives me nuts. This is very stressful to me and needs to be taken care of. So that's what we're working on today. Okay, so let's take a closer look of what I'm going to do with this new drawer unit for my background props. First things first, you can see here that I labeled the little tabbies that were on here. It came with little tabs that were just plain white and all I did was take some scrapbook paper and cut it down to the right size and then I just put a label on it, a clear label with what each one of these is going to house. Okay, this is the first drawer so far, and obviously this is not organized. Um, I just wanted to see how these clear bins that I got from the dollar store fit in here, and how many I'm going to need to go buy. So this is just kind of a hot mess right now. But um, these cl clear plastic bins here fit perfect in this unit. So I can't believe how perfect that these fit. So the, those are what I'm going to use to organize everything. And I just wanted to show you this drawer too, because um, I do have some of these bigger ones. Same thing, I just got them from Dollarama, and um, in this sort of setup, you can fit two of the large ones, and then three of the smaller ones in the back, and then four down the side of the smaller ones as well. So I think I'm only going to have one drawer that looks like this, the rest are going to look like this. So I'm going to just start organizing here. If you guys have been watching any of my kind of Michaels haul videos lately, um, these are all background props that had no home until now. So these are going to be organized somehow into this unit as well. And I'm so excited that I can actually start using them because they've basically just been sitting in the bags for the last however many weeks because I had nowhere to put them. So I'm just going to grab some of the bling things that I have in here and put them into this drawer. So let us do that. I'm just like, I'm such an idiot. I was sitting here wondering where the heck all of my, the rest of my bling things were. And I mean, I've, I've put them in some of these drawers down here. So I'm just kind of shuffling some stuff around now from um, other drawers that were down 
further. This is gonna be such a pretty drawer here when it's done. I'm so excited. Okay, so looking at this drawer, it's going to annoy me that like all the blues are like all messed up. So I'm just going to put this in rainbow order because this is really going to piss me off if it's not. Okay, there we go. I feel way better about this. So we have a red, orange, Green, blue, purple, pink. This is actually a multicolored one. Um, I know it's just green in here, but I have a whole bunch of um, flower and like butterfly background props. I just need to find them and they'll go in here. And then, so two multicolors and then we have my clears. I feel so much better about how this is organized. <laughs> okay, so originally I had this one labeled um, Shabby Chic, but I think I'm gonna end up changing that because I'm finding that I have a lot of floral things that need to go in here so I think I'm gonna make this like a, a floral bin um, I do have a spring summer bin down there too but I shouldn't have made these labels yet this is I should have labeled them after I organized it all but I'm gonna fill this one with um, floral things is what I'm gonna do now and all of my floral things are really small so I'm gonna take these like bigger bins out of here and replace them with a whole bunch of small ones So I'm going to find all of my floral print stuff and put them in here now. I have like a whole bunch of different colors. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize these in their color family. I don't think I have too many like other black and grays actually. So I think I'm going to keep the, the grays and the black ones together. Um, we'll put the cream ones together. And same thing here. We'll put the greens in their own little. Actually, I might use these for a different project for my life planner, but I'm just going to put them in here for now. And now I'm just going to start digging into the stuff that I um, recently got at Michael's. And in all honesty, I think um, floral in spring is going to be two, two drawers because I have a lot of floral things. So we need to find homes for all of this stuff now. So that's just what I'm going to do. And like this is just a, a multi-pack here. So I'm just going to kind of put these in with the different colors. They don't need their own separate little container. Okay, so I think this floral drawer is done. Um... I'm gonna move on to the next drawer and I'm gonna keep it, I, I think I know what I'm gonna do with the next one, so I'm gonna show you that one. Um, first pointer of these, of organizing your nail background props. Um, don't label your drawers until you know what you're gonna do with them. <laughs> Clearly I do not. For this drawer, I wanna use these bigger containers. Um, I'm gonna put some of my larger flowers and stuff in them. And then I'm just gonna take the smaller drawers here and I'm just gonna put them around the sides. Um, same thing, it's going to house the butterflies over in this one. You guys know I have tons of butterflies, as well as tons of these flowers, so let's get all those out. Sad day, I just pulled this wing off of this one. Mm, I really liked it too, maybe I can use like the side of it or something, I don't know, I might keep that one. Okay, so I roughly just have my flowers organized and then my giant butterflies. And then um, these are going to house the rest of the butterfly things that I have because I don't have any more floral things, but I know I have a lot of butterflies. I'm going to take these out of the packages here and put them in their little bins. My OCD is kicking in here and I need to put these in with different colors. There we go. <laughs> I actually don't know if I am OCD, but I think I just like things to look 
nice. So. <laughs> drawer just make you happy to look at like it's just so pretty <laughs> I'm gonna have to get more of make my clients get more butterfly nails so I can use more of these background props and then these things are just gonna go in a different drawer um, actually I might just put them at the bottom of um, my flowers here I just really don't want to start another drawer <laughs> for floral and shabby chic kind of stuff I think I'm already taking up enough for them with two drawers there we go. So everything fits nicely in this drawer. Oh, this is sad. Ugh. I'm just gonna throw this out. What a pretty drawer. Just like a happy, happy drawer. Okay, that one's done. Okay, I'm gonna move on to um, my fall and winter drawer. And I have a bunch of these like leaves and stuff. I think I just got them from, actually I think I got those from the dollar store. And these like little pumpkin things. These were like my favorite last year. I found these at Michael's. They're vase fillers. And um, they're little pumpkins. They're so freaking cute. I absolutely love these. And then same thing with this. These are vase fillers as well. And they're just like little apples and like little like clear leaves and stuff. They're so cute. Okay, so I just went through my drawers in my Ikea unit over here and got rid of, took all of my Christmas stuff that was all disorganized in there and it's all disorganized here now. <laughs> a lot of this stuff I got at Michael's last Christmas and it's going to go in this drawer for now and I say for now because I know me and I know I will buy more background prop stuff this Christmas, um, especially for Christmas stuff I can't say no to so um, I'm gonna kind of organize it but at the same time it'll probably change because I will probably want all of this stuff okay these I got at Canadian Tire or Walmart or whenever after Christmas is over for the last few years and they are just like tree trimming beads um, they go, I buy them when they go on sale after Christmas. I don't spend my money on them before Christmas unless it's something that I absolutely love and I'm scared it's going to sell out. Okay, um, in the midst of separating these, I kind of changed my mind on what I want to do with them. Um, this isn't necessarily just for Christmas. Like, just because I got it at Christmas time doesn't mean I can't use it any other time. So I'm going to take the ones that I can use all the time and they're going to go in a different um, drawer. And then the ones that are just Christmassy related, like for example these snowflakes, um, they're going to stay in here. So I just decided that's what I'm going to do with them. Let's keep them all separate here so that I don't get them all tangled again. Okay, well I'm actually going to cut this down to a more manageable length. Because I don't need all of this. Like that is more than enough. Okay, so I've now cut all of the snowflake ones down to a more manageable length so that they fit in here better. And I'm going to do the exact same with this one. I don't need um, this many snowflakes. Oh yeah, they're totally all the same. So I think I'm just going to keep two of them in here. I'm just going to organize this a little bit differently so that I have all of my fall stuff together. I still have my little sweaters, I still have my snowflakes, and I still have my candy canes to go somewhere. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take these two drawers out back here and I'm just going to put all this stuff back there. I don't think I need more than three candy canes. Three candy canes is good. And then my little Christmas sweaters will fit back there as well somehow. So that'll be this drawer um, for now. Uh, again, it might end up changing, but that is my fall, winter, um, Christmas drawer. Okay, so my next drawer down is gonna be um, other holidays or special events, I guess. Again, I have like these long stringy things. I don't know, I guess, I guess these are necklaces. I don't really know what people use these for, but I picked them up at the dollar store during St. Patrick's Day. So for now, each one will get their own little home, but um, that might end up changing. These ones for Valentine's Day. And again, they're just going to get their own little hubby for now until I see what I have and I might end up putting them together. Got a bunch of Easter eggs. These Easter eggs I just got at um, the dollar store. We can already see that we're running out of room in our like seasonal drawer here, so um, I'm going to double up with some of these soon. Okay, so all of these 
We're gonna go together. And then I just have some like little mini glitter Easter eggs that I got at um, Michael's here. I might combine, again, if I'm running out of room there, I might combine those glittery ones with the pearl ones just because they're, they're so small. They can probably just go together. Everything fits really nicely in there. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just organize it so that all the Valentine's Day stuff is together. There, so now we have all of our Valentine's Day stuff, St. Patrick's Day and Easter stuff. Again, that drawer might change, but for now that looks really good. Okay, our last drawer here is gonna be um, miscellaneous. So let me fill it with some baskets here. So let's just throw all of our miscellaneous things in there. Thought these gears were so cool. Um, these are going to be great for like steampunk nails, the backgrounds of steampunk nails. These giant rings I got from Canadian Tire one year um, during Christmas and my client actually gave me a really cute one last year because um, got, I got engaged out last year so she gave me one of these for Christmas last year but uh, these ones I did buy on my own. I actually think I'm going to just cut like the little twang thing off of here or whatever that stuff is called because I don't think I want that on there anyway. When I was at Michael's last time, I found like a gold uh, like lock and key set, so those are going to go in there too. Okay, so now I'm going to cut up all of these so that they fit into the drawers better. Oh, this makes me feel so much better already. <laughs> those are actually kind of a pain in the butt to work with because they were so big. This one I don't think needs to be cut up. I think it'll just fit back there nicely. Okay, so those might go in there too. And I've got like this bag of... um gauze filler rock things and I don't really have anywhere else to put it so we're gonna put it in this drawer too. I have these like little weird things too. Um, I'm just gonna put them in here because I don't really know where else they would fit. Um, I have these. They're like little, um, I don't know if you're like a 90s kid. I don't know what these are. These like little like soother things. I bought these from Michaels a long time ago and I use them for backgrounds whenever I do like baby pictures. Oh, I'm just not liking how this looks. I feel like that's such a waste for this thing, so... And I use this thing a lot, actually, so I think I'm just gonna set it on top of my blank drawer for now. I use that thing a lot. And then I think I am just gonna put all my doilies in here. Okay, so I have all my doilies in there. I have my little burlap sacks, which act as nice background props. And now the only thing that is left to go in here, and oh my goodness, I don't know if I have anywhere to put it, are these, like, bling flowers and this, um, like, pearl vase filler thing. So we need to find somewhere to put this. So let us just take a look back through. And that's full. That's full. That's full-ish. Okay, so we have room back here. So I think I'm going to combine some of these. Okay, so in this drawer, I just combined some of my flowers here to free up four little bins to put these in. So they'll stay in like the floral drawer with all the other flower stuff. So that looks a lot better here. I like how that's coming together. And do I have any room in my bling drawer for these pearls? This could actually go in the spring drawer. And then I can put my pearls right up front here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And then this, it's gonna go in like my spring section here somehow. That's just a waste. It was taking up that little space. So that's gonna go there. Like I said, I use this a lot. So I honestly think I'm just gonna rest it in here. I know that doesn't look very good, but I will reach for this a lot. So it's just gonna stay there. So I'm super excited about how my new like prop drawer all came together. So I'm just gonna give you an overview of what we've done here. Okay, so the first drawer is all bling. So all of my little plastic background props as well as my pearls. Next drawer down is all floral stuff. So we've got all of our spring little goodies here as well as um, different floral embellishments. Next one down again is floral and butterfly. This is such a happy drawer. I love this drawer. Next drawer down is fall and winter and Christmas stuff. Next drawer down after that is all other seasonal things. So we have our Valentine's Day, our St. Patrick's Day, as well as Easter. 
And the last drawer is just like a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff there. So we have like our, um, my doilies and my burlap sacks or whatever, um, just different kind of background props in here. So that is now my background prop set of drawers. I'm so excited about how it came together and I'm excited to finally start using the things in these drawers that have just been, I've just been hoarding for the last few months. So I'm really excited to use this. I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching the process of organizing it and how it all came together. Clearly I need to remake these little tags on here because they're, they don't apply to what's actually in the drawers and I'm noticing that they're kind of falling off. So I think I'm gonna have to like sticker them on or something, get some like removable tape or something like that and um, redo all of those. But other than that, this is my complete background prop drawer organization system. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. Um, if you do any sort of organization like this, hashtag me on Instagram, um, organizing with Talia so that I can take a look at it. I would love to see what, what you guys do for organizing and hopefully it helps you guys. Next project we are going to tackle is my IKEA drawer unit here. Um, this will be the next video. It, it might end up being like a two, two parter as well because there's a lot of stuff in here. So, but that'll be my next um, organization video is this one. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.